Hey guys, in this video let me share you how to enroll into the Google Advanced Protection Program and also let me share you some of the insights of the Google Advanced Protection Program and what are all the things you need to do before enrolling and how to sign in after enrolling into the Google Advanced Protection Program. So now firstly who need to enroll into the Google Advanced Protection Program means so if you feel your Google account is very important to you and if you are a business person and as well as if you are a journalist and you are activist and you are a politically influenced and mainly if you feel your Google account is very important to you means then you need to enroll into the Google Advanced Protection Program. Now before enrolling into the Google Advanced Protection Program you need to know about a few things which is so firstly you need to buy two security keys so you need to buy like these two security hardware security keys so then only you can able to enroll into the Google Advanced Protection Program. To buy these security keys I have given the link in the description. So only for buying these security keys there will be a cost and apart from that to enroll into the Google Advanced Protection Program there is no cost from Google side. And also main thing is that during enrolling process you need to give the backup email and mobile number because after enrolled into the program if you lost your security key means with the help of that backup mobile number and mail only you can able to recover your account. And also once you enrolled into the program if you want to recover your account means then you need to wait for at least 3 to 5 days to recover your account. And also keep note that once you enrolled into the Google Advanced Protection Program so after enrolled so if you already signed in your Google account in multiple devices means so in that all devices your account will be automatically signed out and if you already created your security codes 10 unique codes and if you created any two step verification pass keys or any SMS backup codes so like that all the codes has been cleared once you enrolled into the Google Advanced Protection Program and after enroll using the security keys only you can able to log in to any new device for your Google account. So without the security keys you can't able to log in so you need to be very careful. Now let me share you how to select the security keys. I actually selected two different types of security keys based on the device I am actually using. So if you are also uh, select like this type of security key because so using this security key I can able to use this security key via Bluetooth at, and as well as there is a micro USB port. If you want to log in your account in PC or laptop means so you can use this security key. So with the help of this type C port security key you can uh, easily log in into your uh, any new Android smartphone with this type of security key. So I have given the link in the description for this both security keys. You can buy the security keys from the Amazon and after bought the security keys now to enroll into the Google Advanced Protection Program. So firstly you need to go to this page. So I have given the link in the description you need to go to this page or else in your PC just go to the Google and search for Google Advanced Protection Program. Well guys now just search for Google Advanced Protection in Google and now here you can see the link Advanced Protection Program just click on this. So it's a website called landing.google.com advanced production. Once you head into this page, click on the get started. Now here again click on the get started. Now once you enter this page, so it actually shows you need to have two security keys. So just to ensure that and after that click on the register security keys. Now you need to add the main key and then a backup key. Firstly click on the add main key. Click on the next option. Now click on the security key. Again click on the next option. Now just click on the OK. And again click on the OK for the continue setup. Now you need to uh, insert your security key. And if your security key has any pin means enter that pin and click the OK. And if you newly bought means then no issue you need to create the pin. And once you inserted the security key, you need to touch that key. So once you've done that and that's it, now the pass key is saved in that security key. Now click on the OK. Now the first security key has been successfully registered. So now just click on the add backup key. Now again click on the next once you have the second key. Now click on the security key and click on the next. Now again click on OK, again click on the OK for continue setup, 
now you need to um, insert your second security key in your pc and touch that uh, security key once you've done that now the pass key saved on the second security key now the second security key registration has been completed now we actually added both security keys now click on the next option so now main thing is that before you enroll into advanced production program after enroll you have been signed out from all your devices so you need to note that now click on the enroll option and again click on the enroll and that's it now you are successfully enrolled into the google advanced protection program and also you have been signed out from your account from all the devices including the device you are currently using and now as i already said once you enrolled into the google advanced protection program so you are logged out from all your devices now to log in to your google account again you need to use your registered security key using that only you can able to log in and now to log in to the windows pc you can directly log in in the pc and you can use this type of security key using this micro usb key you can directly log in with this security key and if you are try to log in in the android smartphone means then you can use this type of security key using this key you can easily log in your google account in any android smartphone and now you need to again log in with your google account so you need to again enter your password and after enter the password so you need to use the security key and main important thing is that in some of the smartphone to use the security key you need to enable the otg connection whenever you insert the usb security key in the redmi phone it will be automatically detected but if you use your security key in a realme phone or in i don't know in what are all the brands you need to enable the otg connection but in the realme phone you need to enable the otg connection so for that you have to go to the settings and you can just search for the otg connection like that in the settings so just a search for otg so here you can able to find the option otg connection so you need to enable this option so after enabled this option only you can able to use your usb type c based security key in your android smartphone so without security key you can't able to log in your uh, google account in any android smartphone so now after enable that now just log in with your google account with your user id and password now you can able to see the two step verification you need to connect your security key to the usb port so like this page has been shown in your android phone now this time you need to use your usb type c based security key in your android smartphone so after inserted you can able to see a green light so now you need to just tap it in the security key so just tap it for two times and that's it so once you've done that now after tap two times now the green light always stays on the security key and also your google account logged in into your android smartphone so after done that you can just remove your security key and you can proceed set up your account now once you logged in now you can able to see the option advanced protection program option in the google account page so click on the manage advanced protection so here you can able to see your account has been enrolled into the advanced protection program and the google play store google play protect and google chrome which are all protecting your google account and you can able to see your security keys and your recovery options has been seen on the google advanced protection program now in this way you can easily enroll your uh, google account to the google advanced protection program so after enrolled using this security keys you can easily log in in both the pc and the android devices and mainly after registering your two security key so just to use any one security key always to log in with your google account and just to keep the another security key safely in your home anywhere else so because this is the backup key if you lost any one key means you can log in your google account with the another key so don't use both the key at the same time and if any one key lost also with the help of the another key log in your google account and under the security settings you can again add the new security key but for that you need to buy another security key so now in this way you can protect your google account uh, using the google advanced protection program so with the help of google advanced protection program with the help of security key only you can able to log in your google account and no third party apps can able to access your data in before any third party apps can able to access your gmail data or a drive data but after enroll to google advanced protection program no app, no third party apps can able to access your data but only selective apps which google approves that third party apps that particular apps can only able to access your 
gmail or uh, google drive data apart from that no third party apps can able to access your google data and then with the help of google uh, advanced protection program so it actually protects you from phishing mails and also if any vulnerable attachments if you receive also so you will not able to download that attachment because google always uh, try to safeguard you from downloading like that vulnerable attachments and also if you enter into any fake websites uh, and if any unsecured websites also you are protected from like that websites you can't able to enter into that website you will get a dialog box like uh, so it's not safe so that you can go away from that website well now that's it on this video guys and now in this video i shared a lot about the google advanced protection program so if you have any other doubts or uh, questions let me know that in the comment section below and if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys.